Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Radku Tarot and this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading for uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Virgo star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to relate to different stuff and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Virgo but if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to tell you what's going to happen with it uh, in the future just like I'm doing for the few examples uh, in this video that is a subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricings which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 uh, for the private call readings. So the first card for Virgo which is marking the topic of their week that is going to be the Tree of Wands followed by the second card which is marking the negative approach toward the situation toward the Tree of Wands that is going to be the King of Pentacles Followed by the third card, which is the positive approach toward the situation or goals, aims, intentions, so on and so forth. And that will be the devil. And the last one, which is the um, final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that will be the Knight of Wands. All right, so once again, um, Tree of Wands followed by the uh, King of Pentacles, then the last one, uh, the third one, this is going to be the Devil card, and then uh, we do have the Knight of Wands. So, uh, Virgo Dai is to be a, a quite growing week uh, for what it does seem, but only for those kind of Virgos which are pretty much done with what they're doing right now, and they are ready to uh, face uh, let's say new endeavors in their life now uh this is described here by the tree of the tree of wands excuse me i would have said the tree of pentacles all right so the tree of wands so what the tree of wands means is that you are to find yourself at the very start of the week virgo that you are sitting on a, a very solid patterns established foundations and pretty much that uh, you did what you could that is the whole point and uh, from now on in order for you to grow, you have to place further challenges in front of yourself. So you have to uh, aim big, you know, you have to think big and you have to strive for more. That is what the Tree of Wands is describing. It's kind of like a new shores for you to conquer, your ship came in and so on and so forth. But it is very likely with this card that whatever plan with this card is that whatever plan you had for the week is that this plan is going to manifest itself exactly the way you have expected it to manifest, which is a good thing. So hopefully you know what you want because this time around maybe you are going to be granted and hopefully you know you're going to be satisfied by it because sometimes things happening just so we realize that we don't want them really but with the tree of wands what the card points is that the physical and the um, ethereal uh, matter or aspects of uh, one situation are going to be completely in harmony meaning that you are going to be satisfied with the results you know of your work of your relationship and of your friendships as well the accompanied card that is going to be the justice card so the formation is active friends and the justice the shade that justice adds here is that it was all results of your hard labor so you can expect throughout that week that your hard labor not just only going to give you the fruits of it either good or bad because for example if um, in the recent past you aim to um, seek vengeance or a retribution that is what you're gonna have here with these uh, with these cards but that is a negative energy all right so that is a negative thing by many standards so you know you're gonna reap the fruits of your labor or you know of your contribution either good or bad now the situations throughout the week with these couple of cards they will require a acute discernment one from another 
meaning that there will be easier tasks that you can do and harder tasks that you can do. These cards are advising you to attend first to the easier tasks, sort them out and then uh, strive for the harder tasks that are uh, in front of you, as well as you have to be quite accountable toward the situation and toward oneself as well, meaning taking a responsibility for your actions. This is how uh, you are going to grow and expand upon either your career or upon either your relationship in this week. So yeah, you have to seek a, a new niches uh, where you can, um, let's say, you know, add additional things into either your career or into either uh, your relationship. Which niches uh, are going to be presented to you? Don't worry about it. Uh, then the next card, which is the negative approach to all the situation, Virgos, this is the King of Pentacles, and that pretty much it is a confirmation of the first cards that uh, what I said there, uh, that what is done is done, and now you have to stray for more, because the King of Pentacles always aims first to consolidate what they have, you know, and after everything is consolidated and established well, you know, on a solid pattern and foundation, foundation, just like as you are going to find yourself right now uh, at the week of uh, April 8th to April 14th, only then the king it is uh, striving for something more. So the appearance of this card in this position, it does point that you can forget yourself into, uh, into your current endeavors, which are pushed to their very maximum. And if the result doesn't satisfy you, that is probably because it does need time to develop. So this card here, it does point that you have to give time the thing to cultivate and develop itself uh, <clears throat> based on your previous efforts as you are to reap, as I said, you know, the fruits of your, uh, of your labor. The accompanied card that is going to be the Wheel of Fortune here and the formation is passive neutrals. So uh, pretty much... The Wheel of Fortune add the shade that the Wheel of Fortune here adds is that there won't be any unexpected and unpleasant surprises in uh, the um, in the consolidated uh, enterprises that you do have. Just to give you a, a quick example of that, let's say you have planned a trip, all right, and that trip it's already the tickets are booked, the hotel is booked as well. And you pretty know, uh, pretty much established the um, <clears throat> the date where you're going to go. Uh, everybody is hyped about it, so there is no point to uh, to talk about it anymore. And now it's time for you, you know, to focus yourself on the things which aren't developed. And these cards here are a, a sign that there won't be any unpleasant surprises regarding the already established things, meaning the trip, the uh, the bookings, and so on and so forth. So there is no reason for you to worry. This is what these cards are pointing, because in the back of your mind, you may have that feeling, you know, that something could go wrong in the very last moment. Well, these cards here are pointing that these worries are going to be simply in vain, and you can completely, you know, focus and be accountable toward the new endeavors, which are not going to be in absence with the Tree of Wands, really. You are going to have a lot of things to do, if you want to, that is, because it's completely optional, you know, you can spend a week uh, very calmly and peacefully, or you can aim to grow and expand on yourself with new challenges to place in front of yourself. So going to the next card, which is how you should approach the situation, we do have the devil card, and the devil is the yearning of one's soul. You are going to feel that extremely powerful energy, should I say it that way, which for many of you is going to be very, very uncontrollable as well, in a sense of that, you know, you can create great stuff with it, but you can also destroy great stuff with it as well. The devil here points that with this tremendous energy on your behalf, you will be able to force a, a very fateful circumstances, which will help you to obtain in the distant future, uh, in a long developing future, whatever you desire or whatever you want. So hopefully, guys, you know what you want because you're going to get it with these cards. Not this week, because the, the end card here is the Knight of Wands and that does not point to the ending of a cycle. This week, it is where you're starting your new cycle. So it's very important to 
very carefully plan how you're going to proceed on forward. Because with the devil card, like I said, you will have the power to force and to push toward what you yearn, toward that person you want to be with, you know, toward that job you want to be hired on and so on and so forth. But it is important to do it the right way, the accountable way toward oneself and toward the situation. Because with the devil, you can do it the selfish way, all right? And many people and as well, many situations are going to be crippled in a sense of, you know, options available. Not like you're going to cripple someone physically, but you're going to cripple them from a, a standpoint of emotional uh, attachment and as well, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, options available. So you have to use the point with the devil is that you have to use that power given to you to do good rather than to do bad, if I may express myself that way. The accompanied card with the devil, that is going to be the um, hermit. So the formation here is passive supporters. And the hermit points that you need to use that power, this tremendous energy given to you by the devil card, to create a, a substantial path for yourself, the hermit. So you need to use this window of opportunity for you to grow, to build up what you think is substantial. If you think that your relationship is substantial, throw all of your efforts into it to create good in it and to make it as a, as, as a uh, uh, how do you say it in English, as a, a safe heaven, all right? To, create, to, to make it a safe heaven for you where, you know, even if you had a really awful day at job, you can go back there uh, at, your, uh, at your relationship, but the comfort of your uh, wife or of your husband, you know, and really feel yourself secure. Same goes regarding a, a career as well. The point with these couple of cards is that you're really going to get what you want, all right? If you start putting the efforts, you, you challenge yourself to get it. It's not going to happen on its own. The cards here for this week are marking the very start and the capability that you can manifest it but it will require your sweat and blood. It's not gonna, like I said, manifest on its own accord. You want that guy to be yours? Well, go and get him. Uh, you, you want that job to be yours as well? Well, start proving yourself that you do deserve the job and that you are capable enough to do so. The point with these cards is that you are gonna have the opportunities, all right? But should you take those opportunities, that depends entirely on you. Sitting on, uh, sitting at home, you know, and commiserating on oneself and feeling sorry and pity for, for oneself for some sort of a poignant experience in the past is not going to do the job. It's not going to get the job done, excuse me. You have to pick up yourself together if you are feeling despondent at this very moment, if you're feeling broken, that is, you know, you got to pick up yourself together and you need to start doing something about it. Once you do, you will see that things are happening very easy and it's going to be your natural way moving forward to create good things for oneself. Which leads us to the, to the last card. Uh, that will be the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is that marks the appearance of a person here. I will need the next card just so I can uh, classify that person. So the Knight of Wands is, is someone very young in spirit. The Knight of Wands is a, a person who it's determined to do what it's needed in order to fulfill one's wish, meaning your wish. Now, however, with the Eight of Wands, the formation here, it is a active supporters once again, but it's a fiery energy. It's a very burning one. That could be the appearance of a, a very, very handsome man, you know, someone that it is very difficult one to resist. The thing with these cards, guys, however, is that this person is very inconsistent. Either that, that is about your career or either that is about your relationship. The only thing that you can really extract from them as a positivity, it is their enthusiasm and uh, as well their readiness to jump into action and really to get the things done as, as much as they can. But you should not follow their negative side where they're inconsistent and they quickly lose interest. Especially if that is a, about a... Um, how can I say it? Marriages which are on the rock. Let's say that your marriage is on the rock. That could be a, a third party which you are going to feel very attracted to, all right? And with these cards, you got to think what is substantial for you to have an affair or to fix your marriage. So at the end, you will have a choice, just like the devil here points. You can use the energy for what you want. You can destroy your marriage with it, having the affair, 
or you can only just see the enthusiasm and take an example of the enthusiasm of this person that does whatever it's needed in order to make themselves fulfilled and do the same thing for your marriage. That is just an example here, guys. So you will have a lot to think about throughout this week, uh, Virgos. You will have a lot to think about for yourself, that is, what do you really want for, from your life in the near and even the distant future, that is, and how you want to expand? How do you want people to see you? Because whatever you do throughout this week is going to make its signature on you. And I hope that you can carry that signature because it's going to be written here on your forehead. And uh, it will be very difficult to erase it afterwards. So be good. Uh, be a good person, that is. And instead of throwing yourself into just a temporary passionate enterprises, you know, focus on what is a long term substantial for you. So that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that reading is going to resonate in a different, uh, for, is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Virgo. But uh, if you do want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give you what has happened to it with uh, in the future, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which are starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.